my culture skin, and today guys, I'm here to do another anime review, and this anime review is to a certain Magical Index Season 3, Episode 1, guys. Yes, guys, Index is back! Certain Magical Index is back, and hopefully the rest of the certain series is coming back as well. Because obviously the next one we need to wait for is a certain scientific railgun, which I can't wait to watch that as well. But right now we got the index, the original one, coming back this season with episode one of season three starting it off. So let's get into this review of a certain magical index, season three. So in this episode, it starts off with the main with our characters living the day after what happened in the previous season. Now, one thing we do find out about is that now the Academy City and the Roman Orthodox Church, I think that's how you say its full name, I might be wrong, but the Roman Orthodox Christian Church is now technically at war with each other, which part of the reason why you see also in this episode sort of like an expedition, a Exposition, I think that's what it is, or like a showcase of weaponry that the Camerson has created, which I believe is going to end up being used against the Roman Actus Church. Now, like I said, most of this episode, we see the rest of our characters, just a minute, this out the way, uh, getting into, um, still going through their ordinary lives until near the end of the episode where everything starts again, big major, like, the first sign of something big happening is that Index runs into an old one who's actually a director of the board of Academy City. Part of the board of the, of the one of the directors that works in the board of Academy City. Who we find out, which we find out about, we, we get like a suspicion that when she said, when Index mentions Toma, and then once she read, met, once she heard that. Oh, she knows Toma. Obviously, her reaction is like, oh. And she says, oh, sorry as well. But implying that she, what she, the reason why she's saying sorry is because she's going to do something pretty harsh to Toma. Which we see, it, which we see she brings up a gun to him to sort of force him to come and talk to her. Which, I'm still a bit, eh, it's not fully unexpected, but I feel like if she wanted to talk to Toma, even if it ends up being part of not being not against going against what the director want the rest of the board wanted because technically the board didn't want to get Toma involved I feel like they didn't want to get him involved but obviously she had to go to him because he has the magic breaker because obviously this the mission she wanted she wanted is out or is actually outside of it because the uh, the job that he, she wants him to be on is actually outside of the incident of what happened last season but it has connections to what happened because it's an ongoing problem that the Academy City is having with the ma I think it, the magical round stuff. So that's the reason why they came to Toma so she can sort this out. This out. But unfortunately, again, it is against the, the rest of the board's decision. So obviously, she had to get killed by Tonogichi. I think that's how you say his name. But you know, the friend of of Thomas that we all know. Uh, he... Su uh, Suji Kamara. Suji Kamara. Yeah, that's his name. Suji Kamara. Yeah, I'm trying to get his member his name. Pretty much, um, he comes in and shoots her because that's what she wanted because obviously if she tries to run away, her family will be targeted as well. Which we did find out who the her fa what the family is is of Thomas teachers. One of the Thomas teachers is this woman's daughter so obviously she didn't want to get him Get her involved uh, in this at all either so obviously she wanted to get killed so that at least they get the punishment that is done to her is done so that's what that's he did that's what he do, does at the, at the end of the episode and then he both Tsuchikamaru and Tomo get sent to France where their mission starts again and the project their mission they're supposed to be on is be identified as C I mean I can't fully remember the name of the mission they're on but, um, I know it starts C, like the project starts with Project C, I feel like that's something like that. 
That's why I feel like it says there. I might be fully wrong with the name, but I'm just saying that's how it starts with. Um, but, and the episode just ends off with that. And like I said, that's what most of this episode is. Just Soma and the rest of the characters living the days after the incident of what happened in the last season, but also um, getting the start of what this season is going to be about. So, which I've got to say, this stuff get on to see the, what the war is going like. Like the war between the can get on to see what the war is going to be like. The Academy City versus the Roman Orthodox Church. I really can't wait to see what happens in this season. And again, the, like the action, like the, now let's get into the animation of this episode. The animation looked decent. There's nothing massive going on. There was no fighting in, in this episode, so the animation was okay. It wasn't fantastic. But obviously, this is a season three, so if you have never watched the previous two seasons, then obviously you should not start with this season. So you need to watch the previous t two seasons. But the animation again was pretty all right. The animation was pretty right. It was mostly still frames. Nothing too much was going on, but it was okay. The animation was okay. I'll just mention that there. But overall, the episode was enjoyable. Just got to see our characters again. Seeing Mikisa. Get to see Toma, get to see Index, get to see every single, nearly every single character except so that few again was pretty entertaining. And I can't wait for next week's episode. I can't wait for next week's episode so we get to see the other characters again, fall in Harley, and be more entertained. Anyway, guys, that was my anime review too. A Certain Magical Index Season 3 Episode 1. Hope you guys are going to fans today. If you guys want to film out, go in my description down below. My address is there, and yeah. And also, guys, if you want to have me on Patreon, my Patreon is down there as well. And anyway, guys, and also, if you want to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, I'm Anime Mino. These are searches you must do on Facebook and Anime Mino. Just search Con Travis, the same name as my channel. That's quite easy. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, is at Claude Travis 1998. Hey guys, hope you guys are okay. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys there. Bye guys!